if instead of desert island discs this was desert island prayers and we'd got to the end and i was asked to do my you can only take one with you i'm afraid bishop joanna which would it be it would have to be compline i'm afraid now i first discovered compline when i was at university um, and it had just been brought out in a little booklet um, reprinted um, from probably a monastic order and I think I loved it because it was full of evocative phrases uh, and they were evocative phrases and it could only sort of appeal um, to a youngster who had really no idea what the perhaps the depth of what these evocative phrases really meant be at peace and be vigilant because your adversary the devil is prowling round like a roaring lion seeking for someone to devour stand up to him strong in the faith evocative because somebody who had really no idea what the actual reality behind your adversary the devil prowling round like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour really meant was uh, but nevertheless falling in love with Compline uh, at 18 and I'm still in love with the service now a lovely late night prayer um, short but still beautifully moving soothing but deep um, still a, a service um, that I love whether alone or with somebody else uh, beginning may the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end and it's something I still say with my friends even if I'm saying it on my own uh, being aware that I'm saying it with people all across the globe who are saying a late night office together because whenever we pray we always pray as the church even if we're alone we pray as part of the body of Christ that's the wonderful thing about prayer alone we are still united with all our brothers and sisters in Christ across the globe we are praying in Christ uh, in one another and that's one of the things I've grown to appreciate across my journey of prayer I am not alone I always pray in Jesus and in a sense that sense started not only by praying Compline but by um, becoming part of the Christian Union in my college, becoming part of my church in Clinician, becoming part of all the congregations that I've been a part of right the way through up until now. Prayer is partly a journey that we obviously do as individuals but it's always a journey we do with one another uh, and Compline for me is one of the delightful individual but corporate parts of it.